Hello guys, in this training video I'm going to show you how to link MATLAB and Abacus. As you guys know it well, linking MATLAB and Abacus is often useful when you want to do an optimization process where the finite element modeling is done by Abacus and the optimization algorithm and model updating is carried out in MATLAB. The example that I used to show you how to link these two software is topology optimization of a two-dimensional plane stress cantilever plane. Okay, let me show you the, uh, the geometry of this problem. Okay. Uh, the geometry of the, this problem is shown in a very general manner in this slide. We have a 2D uh, cantilever plate. Its uh, right end is fixed and the center point, uh, left, excuse me, the, its left end is fixed and the center point of uh, its right end is subjected to a concentrated force. We want to reach to the 50% of the initial volume and we want uh, the reduction of the stiffness to be minimal. Okay, uh, let me give you a general introduction about the topology of the optimization. Generally in topology optimization we remove material from an initial design domain to reach to a structure uh, which is optimum with regard to a stiffness to weight ratio. And we want to do this uh, in our example, in, in our simple example, by linking MATLAB and Abacus. Uh, okay. The uh, base files for linking MATLAB and Abacus is put in this uh, in this folder. Let me open the main MATLAB uh, file. I put the working directory and by the command cd I open the main main uh, script which is so which is named so.m uh, and let me give you some important points when you want to link uh, MATLAB and Abacus Three uh, important points exist when you want to link MATLAB and Abacus. Uh, the first point is how to call Abacus Solver from MATLAB. This can be done through system command in MATLAB. When you pass an argument to system command in MATLAB, it's like you are running this argument in a common window. Uh, let me show you an example. For example, uh, one way is to to bring up CMD window or common window and I write a comment here for example abacus CAE and it will open the abacus uh, graphical user interface environment for us As you see here we can do the same through MATLAB and any argument that we pass to system command is like that we are running this argument from the CMD window in Windows in this part we should specify the working directory the working directory is uh, is where our MATLAB files uh, is put there and an Abacus Solver will run the IMP files there, which is located here. So we should pick this address and copy it into this part. Actually, in this part, um, we change the current directory of the system or CMD window. To the uh, our working directory. Uh, in your case, you should uh, 
change this address according according to where you put the files. So the first uh, point is about the system comment and how we can um, run comments in the CMD or in the system through MATLAB. In the some other parts of our uh, main script, we use system comment to run Abacus. Our Abacus, my Abacus version is uh, Abacus uh, 6.14.3. Uh, you should also change these sections, these part, these parts according your, uh, to your Abacus version. For example, if you use Abacus uh, 6.12.3, you should uh, change this number according, accordingly. Put 12.3 here. Uh, and in this section, actually, we use the system common to run Abacus solver. Okay, let uh, let me go to the second important point. The second important point uh, is how to prevent MATLAB code from running lines after Abacus Solver starts to work. Actually, MATLAB code should be paused until Abacus does its work, and after that, MATLAB can continue the optimization.